just want to show I have a constellation for the traveler. Memory of roving gills. Main quest reward. Adventuring reward. Okay, so maybe because I finished an, an Archon quest that I got this. So I got a constellation. Pulls in opponents and objects. Oh, that's cool. Okay. She's so close, isn't he? No, no. Just strange for him to not be around. Paimon always sees him standing here. I see. He was called away by Albedo a little while ago. Albedo? I was called over to attend to the store. I'm Sucros, Albedo's assistant. If you have any alchemy-related queries, you could always ask me. I do my best to help. Huh? D do I look nervous? My apologies. I don't get out too often. I'm usually in the laboratory where there aren't many others to talk to. Okay. If you need any help, just call my name. If not, I'll... I'll be reading a book. Over there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks. No worries. We're all clued up on the basics of alchemy, aren't we? No need to travel. Hey. Aren't you the legendary traveler? Legendary? The one who repelled storm terror? Uh, legendary is a bit much, and I don't even charge for autographs. I've heard so many stories about you. Always wanted an opportunity to research you up close. <laughs> research? What do you mean research? Uh, sorry, don't mind me. What am I saying? <laughs> Still, you'd definitely be able to help Albedo. It is you, after all. There's that name again, Albedo. Is he also an alchemist and monster? I think I might have heard of him. Apologies, I never introduced him. Sorry for the lag. Albedo is the Knights of Favonius' chief alchemist. He's also Timaeus and my teacher. But Paimon's only ever seen Timaeus teaching alchemy, so that means Albedo is a teacher. Teacher, teacher. teacher? Yes, he's dedicated himself to investigating the truth of this world. And has made many an important breakthrough. We often get alchemists coming to Mondstadt from all over Tibet, seeking his help. They say that the subtlest of guidance from Mr. Albedo helps him to solve the most unfathomable of problems. Wow! Paimon didn't know he was such a big deal! Mm hmm. Still, it seems that he's encountered a problem in his research recently. Every time I see him, he has a concerned look on his face. I'm not sure someone as smart as him could use my help. My knowledge of alchemy stops at basic crafting. I'm sure that Albedo would love to hear about your incredible exploits. I know it would bring him lots of new inspiration. Albedo is a true gentleman. He'll be sure to pay you back in equal measure for helping him out. Can he make Paimon stronger? <laughs> Can he make me stronger? Alright, I'm gonna ask the Paimon one. Uh, Paimon doesn't need any <laughs> help in that department. But if Albedo wants to pay Paimon back for helping him, a few Mora might settle the score. Just Mora? Albedo and Timaeus will be conducting research in the mountains right now. I'd love to take you both to see him, but somebody has to attend to the store. I'm afraid you'll have to go to the entrance to the pass and look for him by yourselves. Look out for a refined gentleman with the presence of a true scholar. And... Um... Sorry. Hmm? That's the best I can do. Okay. You'll have to do your best. Alright. Hey, stop <laughs> worrying. We got this. Princeps Cretaceous Chapter. Wow. Sucrose is a whole lot less nervous once she gets talking about alchemy and research, huh? Is that what all researchers are like? Mm-hmm. Anyway, let's go and look for Albedo. You're looking for Albedo? Wait, is this... Is this what I think it is? Traveler observation report. The rumored alchemist. <gasps> Wait a minute. I can do this quest now. Oh no. I don't think I can. I, I don't think I can do this in time though. Because uh, there's three days left, or two days left, should I say? Okay. So the thing, the quest that I didn't do, 
was the prologue lah, the the one I just did the storm terror everything that is what I needed to do to unlock this and now I unlocked it so now I need to complete traveler observation report to access the shadows amid snowstorms oh that's what I need to do now I need to finish this to do that event which I need how many days left <laughs> okay I don't think I can do this in time oh my god this is gonna be very long eh? <clears throat> okay then so let's just try to do this event and let's see how far can I go I don't think I can finish this event though <coughs> Barbara Sister Rosaria. okay so here you Rosaria. Are. choir practice is about to I've told you already I don't go in for that kind of thing I've got more important matters to attend to. Oh, but this event has commemorative significance. The church hopes that all sisters will be present. Hopes? That's odd, because I don't recall a fulfill the hopes of others clause in my job description. Hmm. I... Uh, I mean, sure, but... But what? You're the event organizer, aren't you? Do you not find it the least bit odd? What do you mean? This far out from Mondstadt at this hour? <laughs> Even if you set out right now, I'll wager you'd still miss the opening ceremony. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this is someone's grand plan to make a fool out of you. Huh? Well, th that can't be. People aren't like that. <laughs> Evidence decides what people are like, not your feelings. <sighs> Maybe you're a little too trusting of other people. Don't fret. Nobody's gonna blame you if you go back empty-handed. I can't imagine anyone else was delusional enough to think I was gonna show up. Okay. But if you dally any longer, you really won't make it. Uh, you're right. It's a very important commemorative event. If I'm late, then... Uh, right, I've gotta get going. <laughs> Oh, okay. Who are you and why are you eavesdropping? We better watch out. She seems like a dangerous villain. Or a trickster at best. Oh, really? I'm a member of the long-standing Favonius Church. You're an eavesdropping pixie from who knows where. And you think I'm the trickster? Wait, she heard that? Paimon was whispering so quietly. <laughs> and as for this outlander you seem to be following... Huh. <sighs> So it's you, the honorary knight that saved us from storm terror. Well then, given your status, I won't press you on your reasons for eavesdropping. Otherwise, okay. depending on your answer, I could have arrested you on the spot. What? Do the sisters of Monsta have the authority to arrest people now? We can't go turning a blind eye to hidden dangers, can we? Why shouldn't sisters have a sense of justice? Hmm, that doesn't sound right. But Paimon can't think of a good comeback. Let's talk about you. What are you doing in the mountains? We're looking for Albedo. Yeah. If it's him you're after, I made a point of noting his tracks. Many people have made their way up after the snowstorm. Let's hope they're still there. All right. So, are you also looking for him? No. This is just a professional habit of mine. I sensed elemental traces in these tracks. Never hurts to be vigilant. As far as sisters go, you're fairly mysterious. You're more like a detective. I couldn't care what you think. Come on then. I'd like to see what he's up to anyway. Oh, we're, go we're going to go to Al Albedo? Yeah, oh, right. said there were elemental traces in the trap. They should show up pretty clearly with elemental sight. Okay. Oh boy, we're going here again. Right here. I see something here. Footprints. You know, little pixie, your ability to appear and disappear at will is very interesting. <laughs> After committing a crime, you'd be able to leave the scene without a trace. You're so suspicious! 
Let me just fight these guys first. Oh yeah, I have Barbara by the way. But it's still low level. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Okay, I'm not gonna fight that guy. He's too strong. I think I'm really under leveled to do this. It's getting colder and colder. Yeah. Rosaria, aren't you freezing? Need fire, man. Me? I'm all right. I got used to operating in adverse conditions a long time ago. Huh? Seems like there's more to being a sister in the Favonius Church than Paimon realized. What? Oh, Albedo's here. Alright. So I guess we're meeting him? He's... Is that Albedo? Why would he hang around a place like this? The word on the street is he loves painting. He'll hang around anywhere for a good landscape. The views and scenery here are pretty good. Potential paintings everywhere you look. But can't he see <laughs> those hilly churros? Uh oh oh. Oh, we gotta fight the pillagers. Okay. Uh -oh. Level 30, same with me. Oh no. Alright, uh, they're not as tough as those people. There we go. Who are you? Why did you alarm them? Thank the gods I'd already completed my painting. Would have been a shame to leave these particular hilly churls unfinished. You're painting hilly churls. What's up with painting hilly churls? What makes them so interesting? Hmm. I'm afraid the answer isn't easy to explain. If you'd like to have a look at my painting, it may give you a clue. Okay. Uh. Oh, it's exactly my uh <laughs> reaction. Very avant-garde. I'll just say uh because that's exactly what I say. Wow. <laughs> You can find these holy trolls anywhere. Quite boring, in fact. Not worth closer inspection. But take a look at this specimen. The build, the coat, <laughs> and there's a distinct force at work here. In the cyclical lives of such primitive communities, such unique attributes are an indication of evolution at work. Evolution, the transition from nothing into existence, from the known to the un... Hey, hold stop? your horses. <sighs> Something tells me we're in for a thesis and I haven't <laughs> got the stamina. We found your man. I'm headed back. Oh, Rosera's leaving already. What? Don't you have any questions for him? Hey! Yeah. <laughs> uh, what a weirdo. So Sister Rosaria brought you. Surprising. And I didn't have time to thank her. But back to the point. From her words, it seems that you were looking for me? Yeah. We met a girl in Mondstadt, Sucrose. She said you were stuck with your research. I see. So Sucrose sent you here. Then, if I'm not mistaken, you must be the honorary knight. Mm -hmm. You've got the whole of Mondstadt talking. I've heard a bit of everything. Your actions during Storm Terror's attack, your elemental control, and quite a few other mysterious things. Okay. I'll skip to the conclusion. There's only one possibility after all. You came from afar, from another world. Yes, correct. correct. You're worthy of your scholarly reputation. I just say correct. <laughs> Excellent. If I could procure your assistance, I think my research would benefit enormously. Your research? Uh, forgive me. This must be confusing. Where should I begin? Mm, the essence of life? Whoa, whoa. You want to start with that? Hmm. You're right. Giving a demonstration would be better than trying to explain. Okay. For example, awakening life. Breathing new life into fallen leaves. Ooh. You can do that? Alchemy really is miraculous. Useful. However, I have a particular seed in my possession. The method I'm talking about has produced no results. 
Heads like you, in that it hails from another world. Helping it to grow, to bloom. That's the problem my research is up against. That's where I need your assistance. Well, if you're struggling to figure it out, Paimon's not sure we're gonna <laughs> be much assistance. I beg to differ. I'm unable to comprehend the intricacies of life outside of the known world. But you're not from the known world. Okay, he knows By that. observing and researching you, I may just be able to find a way to get the seed to sprout. So I'm an object of research. Uh, <laughs> shall we just get out of here? This sounds a little freaky. Uh, what's in it for me? Is there any danger? Uh, is there any danger? I'll just say. That's possible. But I will do everything in my control to ensure your safety. Okay. Time for a change of surroundings. We should be going. There's research to do. Oh, Rosaria is still there. Albedo and that traveler seem to have hit it off. Takes a weirdo to no one, I guess. I wonder, does this constitute a risk to Mondstadt? A risk to Mondstadt? Okay, uh, I'm still about to freeze here, but uh, head to the test site. Where am I supposed to go? I still have to... <laughs> okay, let me just go here. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay. Paimon has a question. After the seed sprouts, will it grow into anything? I don't know. But I feel the importance will lie in the method, not the endpoint. Using alchemy to awaken otherworldly life into that would constitute a big leap in my understanding of the essence of life. Okay. After awakening, even creation may be possible. <laughs> Still a little difficult to understand? Yeah. No! Paimon's got a brain! <laughs> but what's the seed gonna become? Isn't that more interesting than whatever it was you were saying? That's what I want to know. Doesn't seem like you understood. Well, if it turns out to be a delicious fruit, dinner's on me. <laughs> Yay! Paimon's holding you to it! You should know how to keep Paimon, but you see through Paimon's ulterior motives. Well, let's just say I, uh, occasionally have to look after a child. <laughs> Another lengthy explanation, I'm afraid. I suppose it's one of the few non-alchemy-related disciplines I'm any good at. The subject of my first research was the elements. In this world, manipulating the elements requires a vision. Uh -huh. Though I can't see anything resembling one on your person. Yeah. How you're able to freely manipulate elemental power is something I'd like to ascertain. I've got a few questions in that regard. Firstly, do you have any extra organs? <laughs> a second heart? A fourth stomach? Things of that nature. No. Not that I'm aware of. No, not that I'm aware of. Fascinating. <laughs> And this floating child is connected to your body in some way? Not connected, but why is Feynman following us? I what actually a don't know. <laughs> question. Can't you see the gap between us? And another thing, it's Paimon, <laughs> not child. floating child. <laughs> I was merely considering the possibility that you were an external organ. Perhaps there is some invisible force connecting you. I met Paimon on my travels. I caught Paimon with a fishing rod. I guess I can say that. <laughs> that rules out that possibility. I wonder, did Paimon guide the elemental power to yes. you? Yes. But that would mean that Paimon's elemental power would be enough to break through a mountain rock at least 10 meters thick, or cause the waterfall <laughs> south of Springfield to flow backwards. Hmm. No, that definitely can't be it. Hey! How would you know anyway? In that case, it would appear that there's no obvious difference between the composition of your body and that of the humans in this world. Okay. Given that there's clearly a discrepancy in their research, it seems that only experimentation will yield the answers. Firstly, this mysterious elemental power. I'd like to examine exactly how it manifests externally. Let me lure a few slimes to the area. A few slimes? Perhaps you'd be able to defeat them using whatever method comes most naturally to you. Okay. Huh? Doesn't seem very sciencey. Direct and clear observation are imperative to a good experiment. True. This is just a simple exercise. 
Naturally, if you require a greater challenge, we could bring in six Oceanids. Slimes! Slimes are Oceanids? Uh, as long as I'm not to being batted around by Hydro Mimics. I don't follow. This seems like a hassle. Well, prepare yourself. The slimes will be here any moment. Any moment? Oh, what? Are you kidding me? Disappear! Um, I, I wasn't. No one like what level are they? What the heck? Thirty. Let me. Go, go, Baron, buddy. There we go. Oh. Great work. Did you feel anything out of the ordinary? If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Just a bit cold, not a scratch. Uh, just a bit cold. Uh, not really. Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> According to my observations, the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There is nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, let's test the internal flow. Internal flow? Oh, How yeah. do you test that? It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental reaction. Will it make my stomach swirl? Will it crystallize in my stomach? Sounds kind of terrifying. Yeah. Don't worry. In the normal course of events, you'd feel some temporary queasiness. No bodily injury. And in the abnormal course of events? If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Try not to worry. Um. <laughs> well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blocking your elemental flow, we'll be able to locate it with this test. Okay. Just a warning. If an internal elemental <laughs> reaction for any up. other reason, that's a bad sign. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test is missing a catalyst. We'll need to find it. It's a type of ore known as star silver. silver. I have star silver. But unfortunately, not all of it is suitable. Oh, not all of it. I'll take you to my campsite. We can gather some star silver ore on the way. I'll point out any likely contenders. Okay. All going to plan. We should be able to begin concocting the potion when we get to the campsite. All right. I'm Still got a few safety concerns, but it seems like there's a silver lining. Let's keep our eyes open. Alright then. Oh, follow the road and search for silver catalyst. I'm freezing by the way. Oh, this thing. This one. Usable with a bit of polish. Okay. This should be enough. My campsite is just up ahead. I'll lead the way. Alright, let me just get rid of these guys first. Yeah, we can just run. We don't need to waste time there. Okay. Let's just avoid the battles. This is my campsite. <laughs> I've added the materials we collected to the concoction. While we are waiting, have a look over here. Over here? My assistant Timaeus here is helping ah, me with Timaeus. my research. There he is. I'm guessing you may have met in Mondstadt already. Yep. Hello! I've just gotten hold of the data from your experiment. The report is already up on the board there. Wow! Look at all the data! You got all these results from one slime bag? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't call them results. Inferences and a few daring guesses, perhaps. Okay. I think the most system. rational direction would be to expound on the phylogenetic relationship between this traveler and the slimes. Rational direction. Hmm, consider. You don't have a vision, but you can manipulate elemental energy. Uh -huh. The slimes don't have visions either. Yeah. And they too are able to manipulate the elements. Okay, I get it. Following this line of thought, I'm sure we'll be able to establish a basis in fact. Not bad for a point of entry. 
But strictly speaking, slimes are elemental life forms. Ah, uh, yeah. In other words, beings consisting Consistent entirely entitled. of the elements. A cryoregis vine, or even a whopper flower might be a better analogy. Yeah. But tracing True back the phylogenetic relationships between plants and animals, you might have to trace back to the world's origins. In that sense, things might get difficult, don't you think? Uh, yes, sir. That sounds correct. After all, we've got our primary data already. This traveler is a visitor from another world. If it turned out that he did have a phylogenetic relationship with this world, now that really would be something, wouldn't it? Ah, it would. <laughs> Apologies. I was so <laughs> excited to get the data. I'll slow down a bit next time. Speaking of data, to complete our research, we'll need some more. I'll be conducting oh, analysis here more? for the <laughs> time being. If you're keen for an update, just come and find me. Great. I'll leave you to it. Huh. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Okay. In line with my expectations. Ready to drink. Remember to keep calm at all times, and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. Take the potion from the desk. Drink the potion, oh boy. Should not cause any adverse side effects, alright then. Talk to Elvido. Uh, it's burning a bit. You drank this? Yeah. You said you tried some already. You sure it was ready? What happened to him? Hmm? Oh, this was the result I was expecting. And a very positive one at that. This potion channels elemental power into the body. Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. Uh -huh. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. Alright. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? <laughs> <laughs> it was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the guinea pig. Out of consideration for the test subject, what about the risk to you? Perhaps it's just scholarly self-assurance. And it certainly speeds things up. In conclusion? I'd say we have our conclusion. <laughs> as far as elemental energy is concerned, you're no different from okay, anyone so else in this world. No different. Huh? Nothing peculiar. Aw, Paimon wanted something cooler to happen. Then again, better an ordinary result than a peculiar result. Peculiar results have a tendency to be of the undesirable variety. Feel like you're referring to something in particular? The good thing about ordinary is that everything is an object of reference mm -hmm. and everyone understands you. Okay. People are the same. Yeah. They can understand, empathize, encourage, and support one another. When you're sick, a doctor can diagnose you because they are you. When something goes wrong, you can ask people who've made the same mistake yes. for their experience True. because you are them. But a peculiar person they don't have much recourse for the things we take for granted. The essence of their life is fundamentally different. For example, a human can't understand the life of a pyroregisfine or an eye of the storm. Have I explained it clearly I'm enough? getting it, yes. This seems like there's another layer of meaning to your words. Well, I, I, I get it though, but... Let me just say this. To sum up, this has been a positive outcome. Going forward, you can use your elemental power without fear. Yeah. Timaeus, the results of the new experiment are out. If you could see to collating them. Just a moment, sir. I'll handle it. All right. <laughs> you gave me a lot to consider. Really stretched my limits. <laughs> I'm thinking a lot clearer now. Having you down as an animal wasn't very precise of me. But starting with the premise of an elemental life form? Now that was... Not bad. I think it's an interesting line of inquiry. Whatever the truth of the matter, I'd like your research at the fore as opposed to my judgment. You can count on me, sir. 
I'll extract a result satisfactory to all. All right. Is he trying to join the knights? He's starting to sound like a suck up. <laughs> uh, what Paimon meant to say was, that's the spirit. Mr. Albedo, say something. Hmm. Before we can proceed with our research, I need to prepare something. Prepare Wait something? one moment. If you're interested, why not have a look around? It may help to pass the time. Look around, alright. First experiment complete. Second experiment. <laughs> the world. Observe the installations in the camp. Alright, just have to look at look around, alright. You can tell that progress is being made. And the third one. Oh, there's a crafting table there. Here comes Albedo. Let's go see him. Oh. Where? Oh. I'm back. Did you see anything interesting? Uh, couldn't make heads or tails of anything. Not to worry. They're all for alchemical purposes. You'd be hard pressed to find an everyday use for them. Well, on with the research. All right. There may be significant differences between different worlds. Yeah. Take Tevat, for example. Here, those with visions can manipulate the elements. Yeah. But worlds may well exist where only one person is able to do so. Or even everyone. Mm -hmm. So, uh, leaving elements to one side. Do you possess any unique abilities? Ones that don't exist mm. in this world? I think answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. In other words, time for the next experiment. Am I battling slimes again? No, no. <laughs> okay. You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort this time around. Now, see this pillar here? Use your willpower to try and break it. Break it? Um... I don't think that's possible, Paimon, you give it a shot. <laughs> you think Paimon knows how to do that stuff? <laughs> that was your best effort? Hmm. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. Uh, have you tried using your elemental power with food? I don't mean for cooking as such. Uh, rather, channeling your power into the ingredients themselves. Channel? I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with proliferation. Alchemists certainly have activated. Sure, you're not just peckish? <laughs> I suppose I have a curiosity for things that others find surprising. Anyway, why don't you cook us up a sunshine spread? Sunshine spread. I've just finished oh, preparing a recipe. the recipe. Okay. Cooking? <laughs> I was looking forward to more mad scientist stuff. Really? Not only is this recipe a staple for me, it's also worth experimenting with and highly nutritious. Hmm. Paimon bets you're just hungry. That does sound yummy, though. <laughs> okay, Paimon approves. I know what you're getting at. Mm -hmm. Good buddies are always on the same page. I'll leave you to it then. Looking forward to the results. If there's anything left over, maybe Timaeus can finish the last morsels. All right. Uh, Paimon doesn't think we'll have that problem. Okay then. Uh, How are we gonna channel elemental power? Cook some sunshine spread. Wait, let me see. Not this. This one. Recipe sunshine spread. So what do I need? I have them all. Increase all party members' shield strength. Oh, okay. Oh, there is a boost for no Noel and Sinian. Eh? Uh, let's try Sinian. Oh, you got two. Nice. That was fast. Looking forward to tasting. I mean, testing the results. <laughs> tasting. Here you go. Hey. Mm, an average outcome experimentally, but you've really brought out the flavor. You seem well versed in the science of gastronomy. 
As far as the proliferation hypothesis is concerned, we've come up short. Seems like food presents the same headaches in your world as it does ours. <laughs> Unless... Could it be that the natural laws of this world are limiting your unique abilities? We just didn't know how to channel elemental power into the food. It's a little more complicated than adding herbs and spices, you know. <laughs> Not to worry. At least we put some food to good use. No need to feel this hard. <laughs> it wasn't even... And it's here's just... your portion. Enjoy. I can box it up if you like. Alright. Woohoo! Thanks! Glad you were paying attention. <laughs> Not often that Paimon gets this much attention. I can tell that you're good friends. Paimon was keeping an eye on you and your safety during the whole experiment. Not that Paimon would have been able to do much if things had gone wrong. <laughs> but anyway. Hey! You were being nice a second ago! But you do have tasty recipes, so Paimon forgives you. And you're right, we are good friends. You have good friends too, right? Good students? Uh, yes. I'm fortunate too, I suppose. Suppose? Anyway, moving on to the okay. next experiment. There are all manner of alchemical items here. Keeping them in their proper place is a challenge at the best of times. A while ago, I had the misfortune of misplacing a batch. I managed to retrieve the majority, but two vials have been evading me. Animal Crystal Fly Elemental Extract and Electrohypostasis Powder. Oh no, Electrohypostasis? Don't worry if you can't locate them. I was planning to replace them anyway. Though finding them would save me the hassle. If you had, say, a superpower, like night vision or vibratory sensing, a lost property would be a thing of the past. I must have dropped them somewhere in the area where you were looking just now. Well, we have elemental sight. So, guess we'd better take a look. Should be some elemental traces, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let me just cool down a bit near the fire. Uh, use elemental side to look for the lost items. It's not here, is it? There is something here. This must be electro hypostasis powder. All right. There's one more. Oh, down there. Animal. Mark, I see. Done. <laughs> Goodness, you managed to find them. I'm wondering, this elemental site. Mm -hmm. This is what allowed you to locate the items and find me here on the mountains, correct? Yes. Yep. Guess it does sort of <laughs> like a super superpower, huh? Yeah. Unfortunately, though elemental site is seldom seen, it is not unheard of in Tevat. So. They know about Only elemental sight. never before seen otherworldly power would be of benefit to my research. You mean, we failed again? <laughs> Don't be disheartened. This falls entirely within my expectations. Besides, getting these items back, I'd call this a very worthwhile experiment. I have to commend your deduction that the items would contain elemental traces. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your otherworldly identity. Our research on your identity is one of us. It's just beginning. <laughs> With you to the end, how do I get off this train? It's okay, I'll give you In going. essence, the differences between humans are reflected in our intellectual and physical capabilities. Uh -huh. Let's start with physical. Looking out from where we're standing, can you see what Super no, is doing? No, of course not. Too far away. And if you jump from here and landed on that cliff, the one over there, no. could you see her then? Still too far. So what about if you planted a single blow on the mountain face here, and it burst into a million fragments? Then could you see her? Of course no. Sounds like we're still on the superpower test. <sighs> then I shouldn't get too excited. Still, we'll gain a more thorough understanding with an experiment. All right. I know of a location that will be perfect for a physical test. Please, follow me. Um, where? The third experiment life head to the location of the next experiment. Can I just teleport? Uh, I didn't activate the <laughs> the waypoints there yet. Okay. 
right here. <laughs> okay. You, you want us to jump from up here? <laughs> Are you kidding? Not necessarily. Not if you know of a better method, that is. Um. We better have a better method. Whichever method you choose, the experiment will end when you reach the opposite shore of the lake. I will factor. Wait, what? Oh, disconnected. You... Okay, let's just say the other Not option. Necessarily. Just. Not if you know whichever method okay, you choose. Okay, same thing. I will factor the time expended <laughs> and your top Doesn't speed matter. into my comparative analysis. The opposite side of the lake. So we're gonna be swimming. Without limitations, we complete tasks intuitively. Using the method that seems most rational to us, some of us would be unable to stand the icy waters. Others might find the whole thing rather refreshing. No matter uh. what choice you make, it's all a part of the experiment. <laughs> For me, every detail is invaluable to the research. Okay, now this is less stressful than superpower. Then if you would, please, I eagerly await the results. So I'm supposed to fly to the end then. Recording data, responding to risks, oh. providing yeah, emotional support. Emotional so support. If we do decide to go swimming, you gonna dive in with us? No. Unless you're thinking of conducting competitive research. <laughs> oh. Uh, forget Paimon said anything. Okay, this is win. Now I have to reach the tug. What? Oh boy. Uh, I can make it. Right. Oh, challenge complete. I need heat. Oh, thank goodness. Now what? Talk to LB the way see. Oh, right there. <laughs> Great work. I've never seen a performance quite like it. Your reputation precedes you, Traveler. The data shows that you're easily outperforming the average citizen in Mondstadt. But you followed us the whole way without breaking a sweat! Yeah. Me? Actually, I used alchemy to cheat a little. <laughs> but anyway. Alright. If it turns out that the natural laws of Tevat do not affect you, I should be able to make various inferences about the otherworldly civilization you belong to. If the natural laws of Tevat do affect you, then I shall be able to make inferences into the kind of evolution that would occur under the absence of such effects. Okay, I understand that. The innumerable possibilities that this could present, the captivating insights, it would be something to savor again and again. But how does this help your research? Yeah. You've helped me to unravel many of the problems that were holding it back. When we return to the campsite, what I else have you researched this thoroughly? I may be about to make some analogies between you and a few unusual specimens. Unusual? I hope you won't be offended. Gold, petrified trees, a sun eight times the size of our own. The essence of the investigative process is enthralling, but such feelings are inevitably fleeting in nature. I'm willing to pour all my energy into research. And yet, specimens are finite. Yeah. As the unknown transitions mm -hmm. into the realm of scientific understanding, the, feeling of, the nice. feeling of enlightenment is lost. All these things that start out as objects of fascination end up oh, this possessing the mundanity <laughs> of a sunsetia or a sweet flower. They cease to be noteworthy. Oh, so that's why you wanted to paint those hilly turtles? Because you got to see something new and interesting in the differences ah. between them? Precisely. To quote my exact words from earlier, these creatures are, for the most part, not worth closer inspection. Quite boring, not worth closer inspection. There is precious little about them that serves to pique my curiosity now. So after all these experiments, are we gonna be like <laughs> boring to you? Like some basic draft of a sketch? Of course not. You have been of great assistance to me, and I will remember this friendship for a lifetime. Alright. Now. Before we head back to the campsite, 
There is one more experiment. Intelligence. Follow me. There are some other ruins nearby. Ruins? Okay, where are we going now? Um, head to the location for the intelligence test. Uh, I have... Oh. Oh. I have... <laughs> I have a commission over there. Anyway, okay. But I haven't unlocked. Okay, great. I really should unlock all the waypoints. Uh. Here. Great, I gotta take the long way. Okay, you know what? I think I'm stopping here. Maybe I'll stream instead because uh, a lot I don't understand how to do. <laughs> this puzzle, also I'm not sure. The enemies are tough here. I'm, I'm losing quite a lot here. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'll uh, stream this instead. Uh. Ah yeah, and there's uh, some help. So okay, I'll end my video here then. It's a complex environment, so proceed with caution. Tapi, itulah challenge pump it, tapi tak, tak progress. Nanti kan mungkin kena buat lagi satu. <laughs> it's a complex environment, so proceed with caution. Eh? Reset! Oh, of course reset. <laughs> La! See the old visa. Kidding me. <laughs> buat tiga kali. You're turning. <laughs> Aduh. Here we go, okay. It should now be possible to activate the central mechanism. Exactly what will happen when you do is something I'm looking forward to find. Oh, seems that the water level has suddenly decreased. We should be able to see what's in the water now. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, neat. What's this? Uh, I'm familiar. To the best of my knowledge, these belong to a script of some kind. They can be found all over Tevat, but they've uh. never given up their seat. There's still a lot to learn about them. And as for why they should ever have come to rest here, let me make a copy first. I'll make time to go over them in greater detail after our research. Another thing for the don't understand list. Unsolvable mystery this, weird experiment that. It'd be nice to get some cool results for once. Seems like if you want the reward, you gotta pay the price. I've truly gained a lot from all this. Comparatively, the little reward I can offer is to... Let me return to the campsite first. By the time you get back, I may just have a fleeting miracle for you to witness. Okay. Uh, Paimon's kind of looking forward to seeing the result of all this brain, eh? Unless you can think of anything better to do, let's head back to Not so fast. You're not leaving until I'm convinced that nothing dangerous is going on here. <laughs> you! You didn't leave the mountain? I most certainly did not. And I've witnessed everything that you and Albedo have been up. I must say, you let your guards down. Or maybe you were drawn in by his compelling sounding hypothesis and friendly demeanor. What do you mean, yes, Taking orders from a complete stranger? Drinking anonymous potions? Participating in all kinds of strange ex- I'd sooner believe you were tricked than that you would be so naive. Or perhaps, you were colluding from- Sister Rosaria's guard so high, she can't even see over the top of it! Mm. It doesn't matter what you think. 
He could be a saint for all you know. But I understand him a little better than you, Outland. I'm only concerned with one thing. Whether his alchemy has transformed you into something more sinister. No way! Paimon would have sensed it! And anyway, he didn't even use any alchemy! With an alchemist of his level, you wouldn't sense a thing. In any case, I'm not about to let a potential threat back... So... what are you gonna do? <laughs> I've gotta hand it to you. You have your moments. If I can be sure that nothing you came into contact with is dangerous, I've investigated everything else. The only items left on the agenda are these simple. But we don't even know what they mean. Hmm. That much is true. Not to mention, seems like there's nothing more to them. But for insurance purposes, I'd better make a copy. Hmm. This is now a location of interest. Regular patrols should be set. Now then. All things considered, I deem that you pose no immediate threat, which is what I was hoping. I would have been one very unhappy sister if you'd made me work overtime. Overtime? Before we go our separate ways, Outlander, a word of advice. Don't be so quick to trust Albedo, and don't repeat the same mistakes that you did this time. You made a lot of rash decisions today. She's gone! So stubborn. Monstad doesn't have many people like that. Maybe she's just... Hmm. Huh. Never mind her. Let's go see Albedo! You're back. Good timing. You took quite a while. Did you get held up on the way back? Quite literally. Uh -huh. I wouldn't worry. She's just doing her job. Time for the results. We got a myriad of data today. And it was very... But the integral preliminary conclusion that I can offer you is... You're very much like a human from this world. You couldn't tell that just by looking? We spent all day working our butts off for that? Please, I understand that this may have seemed self-evident to you. But in fact, nothing. Have you ever considered that the world of Tevat may have a natural hostility to Outlanders? I mentioned the natural laws of this world. You're able to converse with me here without consequence, and nothing seems amiss. The only other life form that, like you, has come here from afar is the seed that I mentioned. Under the effects of Tevat's natural laws, it isn't even able- But, after I observed you, imitating you helped to inspire my alchemy. And so... So... <clears throat> Whoa! It looks like something's appearing! The transition from nothing into something, from shoot to stem, and now to fruition, is not nurturing otherworldly life, also nurturing the world itself. Aww... <sighs> It would seem that that's as far as we go. A transient bloom of incomparable beauty. Paimon thought, with all our efforts, it might have bloomed forever. And it didn't even have any fruit. Life is a manifold tapestry of free entities. Its value shouldn't derive from how long it stays with us. A short life can be well lived. A life lived efficiently, lived to perfection. So... Do you understand what I meant about us conversing here arguably being a small miracle? Uh, things feel a little heavy right now. <laughs> Don't be sad. You've got Paimon to look after you. Albedo, Paimon really wants to be your friend. Thank you both. Even if dispelling loneliness is not essential for life, it certainly doesn't hurt. Your help inspired me to discover the means to make a flower bloom. I mean that the time I've spent traveling with you in the mountains was a valuable journey for me. In the future, if the need arises, can I solicit your help again? Well, glad I can count on you. I made a point throughout of telling him how ordinary the results were. But what was that sediment I saw forming at the bottom of the vial? It should not have been there. What could it mean? Those born of earth are bound by its imperfections, but those born of chalk are free of impurities. 
You and I are alike. Both composed of a substance that has yet to be fully defined. If, one day, I lose control. I lose control? Destroy Mondstadt. Huh? Destroy everything. What? Can I rely on... Hey! Let's go see Timaeus! Paimon has a favor to ask him! It'd be great if we could oh, catch Sucrose and Albedo too! But they seem really busy lately, so let's not get our hopes up. Anyway, let's go... Hey, to me! Uh, is that Albedo? Why is he leaving? Why does he look so serious? Hey, it's the Traveler and Paimon! Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you having a really serious discussion right now or something? Just a regular catch-up. We meet here once in a while to go through any recent developments in our research pro- uh, okay. So we just missed him! Maybe we should have hollered! He didn't look in the best of moods just now, though. Was he upset about something? If so, he probably wouldn't have been in the mood to help out anyway. Huh? Upset? You mean Albedo? Yeah! He wasn't looking his usual self! Upset? Uh-oh. <laughs> What are you looking at me for? I wonder if Timaeus' research topic is... is so boring that Albedo finally snapped. Oh. Surely not! It's not that boring! <laughs> nah. Anyway, Jaime wanted to ask you for a favor, Timaeus. A favor? <laughs> well, well, sure. How can I... Well, Jaime found a bunch of super-duper sweet sensetias in the mountains the other day. But if Paimon eats them all, then they'll all be gone, so Paimon isn't ready to finish them all. Paimon was thinking maybe you could make a device that you put fruits in and it turns them into juice. <laughs> that way, they'll be preserved for as long as Paimon needs. Oh, yeah, I'm afraid that sort of thing is a little... Huh? Seems pretty straightforward to Paimon. Can't you do it? <laughs> Paimon, I I'm afraid you've entered into the realm of the weird and wonderful with this one. <sighs> okay. So how about you, Sucrose? I I'm sorry. It doesn't sound like it falls within my area of expertise. I could give it a try if you really want, but... <laughs> Whoa, your tone is so calm, but your words are so terrifying. Well, as you know, my focus is on bioalchemy. Besides, keeping things fresh forever is just not possible. Right. Alchemists usually focus in on their own research areas. Take us, for example. Timaeus, Albedo, and I all have very different research foci. Paimon, your idea is very imaginative. But it's beyond Timaeus's and my ability. I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. Huh? Well, excuse Paimon for overestimating the power of alchemy! In fact, before Albedo showed up, everyone in Mondstadt thought alchemy was useless. Of course, we know better now. But even then, I have to admit, alchemy is only one of the many wondrous arts in the world. It's certainly not some kind of all-powerful magic that can simply take a substance and preserve it indefinitely. Uh, uh, oh, uh, sorry. That wasn't meant as a criticism against you personally. Paimon just wanted some fruit juice! What's wrong with that? Oh, of course, these are just Timaeus's and my subjective opinions on the matter. If you're really intent on pursuing this wondrous device, you can try your luck asking Albedo. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If he has no idea how to make one either, you'll have to give up on the idea. Oh, he doesn't seem to be in a good mood today, though. What if he ignores us? He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. There's something about Albedo today. Something seems different. Hey, so where is Albedo heading to anyway? Dragonspine? Unless he specifically says otherwise, Dragonspine is where he usually goes. He seems particularly <laughs> fond of that place. And somehow, the cold doesn't seem to bother him at all. Then let's go to Dragonspine to find him! Come on, there's no time to lose! <laughs> Oh, but I don't know. I need a shadow, so I'm a snowstorm. Ah, 
baru keluar quest tu. Ah, ya. Ah, okey okey okey. Eh, tolak. Tapi 2 days left. <laughs>